good morning guys welcome to today's video today is saturday and it is going to be a busy day we got kaylee over they're still sleeping sam and i are going for our coffee date which basically is him getting coffee and me just coming along for fun we're going to get coffee for gabby and kaylee which is like an ice cap or a something from Starbucks and wake those girls up because we got plans today, you guys. We are at Starbucks to get the girls a drink. A day that starts with Starbucks for my girls, Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie, always ends to be the best day ever. So we're in line, it is a huge lineup. Apparently everybody feels like Starbucks is the way to start your day. So Gabby and Kaylee are getting caramel macchi macchiatos, no, caramel mochas. And Sophie is getting the traditional dragon fruit refresher made with lemonade. We had a massacre of Gabby's coffee. It was sitting on the coffee table. She decided to throw a toy for her dog. She gave up her coffee for her dog. The toy hit the coffee. Coffee went everywhere. So now I'm just Gabby. Saying, I wouldn't like it anyway. Yeah, they ordered the wrong coffee. I wondered. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, so Gabby's going to go and get another cool coffee. Out. Don't sweat the coffee, you guys. Don't cry over spilled coffee. Even though if you're going to cry over something, coffee, it would be the thing. Don't cry over it. Just go back out. Get yourself another one. Even well, what though, if you have no more money? Save money for two coffees just close? in case. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey. We don't live Man close. Mail. Okay. Can so, yes, yeah, so we got some fan mail. We're going to show you guys. Just papers. No, no, no. Just wait, look at this. We're getting like more mail with seals. Do you like a seal, like a wax seal? Yeah, it is old fashioned. And this one has a feather on it. Gabby. Yeah, happy got vibes, Gabby. That's why I bought you a coffee, so you'd have happy vibes. The dogs are gonna have happy vibes. <laughs> oh, no, Gabby! They do not need coffee. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Okay, so this is from a 13 year old Jessie. And she sent us this. She's been making these treats for her horses. And Don't say it! Oh, and all 12 of her horses like this thing that she's sending us. And she um, has been riding horses for eight years. Pictures, which is she's an accomplished artist. So amazing. I wish I could draw like that. I want to try one. I know, they look so cute, eh? They're these little cookies, and these are really cute. Treats, but they look like actual little cookies. Like, I like little treats like that. Like They're a horses. good size. Yeah, I bet you our horses. We're going to go down right now and see if our horses like them. Mmm, they actually smell like oatmeal cookies. And Sophie? And we should just put oatmeal on it. Is it good? Probably oatmeal kind of. and molasses. Yeah, mmm. Yeah, them. horses will love them. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, we are headed out. I'm going to tell you guys what's happening. Today, we are going to celebrate Sophia and the fact that she's a growing woman. And today, she's going to get her very first... What are you getting? Cake. Cake. But why are we making a cake? Cause I get cake. We're, she's getting her very first real bra. I remember a year ago, I don't know how much of it I told you guys, but Gabby used to only wear sports bras. I think I told you guys. Only ever used to wear sports bras. And then so Kaylee I got yeah. her into bras. Yeah. And then Kaylee's like, no, you need a real bra. It had to happen. It had to happen. It had to happen. affect the growth of your boobs. Oh, sports bras affect the growth of your boobs, Kaylee says. So anyways, Gabby went shopping with Kaylee about her first real bra a year ago and has never looked back. Now she has more bras than anybody has a right to have in this earth. Like she has a bra for every, every, every day of the week. She has a lot of bras, you guys. But Sophie, whoops, is still in the sports bra stage. So today, Kaylee's gonna work her magic on Sophie and we're gonna go to the mall and we're gonna shop and we're gonna get Sophie a bra. So if you are a boy and you're watching this, you may want to skip past this video. This is not a boy type of video. But before we do that, we're gonna go down and check on the horses and I'm gonna tell you guys what Brandon said about my horse last night. 15 plus guys for this video. We're looking for bras. You have to be 15 plus to watch this video. Woo wee! It is chilly. It's getting colder again. Got all my dogs here. I was saying, telling somebody in the comments how one thing I really love about my riding experience so far is that Molly follows me everywhere and goes with me. I'm gonna start training her to go on the trail with me and Penny, just like around our house. So I'm gonna give them lunch. First, I need to see if Penny will come to me. Oh. I'm basically just doing what I have to do while I wait for the girls to get ready because they're at the long getting ready stage. They already got ready, they just need to put mascara on. Yeah, mascara. How long do you think it takes a girl, teenage girl, to put um, mascara on? Five years. Yeah, just about. Hey, Pen! Penny! Oh, you coming? Penny. Penny! You coming? You coming? Come on! 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 Come on!
I'm giving you Willow it. Yeah, the ponies are here. So these are treats by Jesse, and they are Willow hey, approved. Hey. Daisy. <gasps> oh goodness. Hold these. Get that dog is a, a menace to the horse world. All right, here's my girl. Going in the stall. Don't yeah. Throw her in. Uh oh. Hold on. Wait. Okay, hey, listen. You can't all have a turn. <laughs> you have to go. Look at how good she is, though. All right, Penny. Here you go, sweet girl. Thank you for coming. Take a bite. A bite. That's a girl. We did it. We did it. Okay, so you guys, I just wanted to tell you guys what happened yesterday when Brandon came. Whoops. Don't worry. I'm not going to hit you. Sometimes if I move too fast, it just really makes her nervous for a second. But she's getting better. She's really it's beating up picky. her amazing collar. I love the collar, you guys. Ask Hold me. Her. Hold her. Ask me what her heart rate is. Ask me how much exercise she gets in, in an hour. On average, how much exercise do you think she gets? In one hour, my horse walks 10 minutes. <laughs> She's not that ambitious. Anyway. Oh, the, it's all dirty. Yeah, it's dirty. I'm going to clean it. Anyway, the collar, amazing. I absolutely love it. I see what her um, heart rate is. Her heart rate is 33 beats per minute almost all the time. Can you say halter? Halter. Halter. Are you mentally okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit. Okay, Penny's turn. Penny's turn. She might be picky. Who knows? Yeah, she's not a picky girl. She's food motivated, man. Food and love motivated. So, last night, I told you guys. Uh -oh. Did you like it? Everyone liked it. Yeah, everyone liked it. Even Sorry, Gracie. Sorry, it's Sorry, there you go. Sophie, I'm going to take it off and take it up and charge it. Yeah, I'm going to take it off and clean it. Okay, so, basically, last night, I told you guys that I'm feeling really nervous about riding my horse with the saddles that I have because I can't tell for sure if they fit. The Western one's a little bit tighter than the English one. So I had my trainer come last night and try the saddles for me. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first told my trainers that I was gonna get a gated horse, they're like, Laura, you're not getting a gated horse. Like, we don't do gated horses, it's not our thing. Like, we're not getting gated. Gated is crazy. And I stood my ground and said, no, I want gated. And you know what they said? They said, okay, I'll support you in your gated journey. So the, yeah, they did say that to me and I appreciated it so much. <gasps> Penny. So they did support me. So if you go get that hay, that pile of hay there, we're gonna throw it all around for them. All bunch of different piles, please. Outside. Yeah, outside. So they did support me and I was in contact with them when I bought Penny, but because of COVID and because of all sorts of things, they've never met her yet and they, and they probably won't really get to really see her till the spring. And so I was a bit worried, like, how are they going to like her? Are they, cause you know, they already have a preconceived idea what Gated is like. So Brandon came last night and we only had a few minutes to try a couple of saddles on her. And you guys know, I already told you she's girthy, but she's not even girthy. She's more saddly. When I show her the saddle, even from five feet away, she's like, oh no, we are not doing the saddle. And she pins her ears and she tells me no. Um, and I hate that because it makes people think that she's angry or that she's aggressive or that she's mean. You know, you never want to be the person who has the angry horse. So I... I knew, I know that my coaches are gonna say something about it, even though I already told them to see it in real life is a different experience. So last night, she was in her stall eating her hay and I got to spend about 15 minutes with her before Brandon arrived in her stall and it felt like she was so happy to have me there. She just like wanted me to hang out with her while she ate her hay. She seemed so calm and so relaxed and Brandon came and he said, hey Penny, and he walked over, plopped two saddles on her back and she just stood there not at a time. Munch, yeah, munching away and enjoying life. Like he would, he never even got to see that grouchy side of her. She was so calm. She has to be good with company. So yeah, well that's all I want, or for my kids to be good in company and riding lessons where you don't complain, and you don't cry. That's all I want, and she did that. I didn't like and Brandon said two things. First he said, "Oh, she's cute." He said, "My horse is cute." A horse I picked basically by myself and God, because I felt like God was playing a big role Doesn't there. Doesn't Brandon like, like every horse though? Yeah, no, he doesn't like every horse. He's the bread. He <laughs> likes most horses. If you are a horse person, then you're probably just like my coaches, you're kind of picky. Oh, kiss me. Kiss. I know, she Thank kissed you. me too. Kiss. <laughs> so anyways, he said he was, she was cute, and he said that both of her saddles fit her. So the Western saddle is a really good fit, he said, and that 
uh, the way, and he showed me exactly how to tell where it's a line and where it has to go. This big truck going through the field, like right there. You guys see it? And my penny just be looking, be having breakfast. How many piles did you put out there, so? The pile that you said to grab. Did you put out a whole bunch of piles, though? Yeah, there's five piles. Okay, that's good. It's good. She's like, give me some more treats. So the Western saddle he said fits amazing and which I'm happy about I still want a new saddle for her and for me something like really spectacular That's leather and something that I really love and that she really loves. So I'm still working on that um, uh, But he said that it fits her and then the English saddle he said he it fits her as well and it, I could put a Half pad in it for comfort. He said half pads are usually people use for comfort for the horse's back for a saddle and that it has just enough room or that I could put a half pad if I wanted, but I don't have to. It is a good fit. They both fit. Both my saddles fit. I worried for nothing. Watch. watch. Kiss, kiss. Oh my gosh, so we've seen all the kissing. All right. So I I've done. Kiss you. All right, kiss me. Kiss me. Mm, wait. We, we are like miss kisses. Wait, no, no, Say no. Say kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. <laughs> kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. <laughs> <gasps> and now she's trying oh, to, to bite me. She's smile. really cute right now because she's smile. overweight. Smile. We're working on getting them back to normal smile. weight. Look, she can smile too. Yeah, she's a smiler too. Oh, I bet girl. you, given a different kind of life from the start, she'd be a snuggler. She loves to. She loves tricks. She loves doing them. All right, let's go. She loves kissing them all. all right, let's go. This is gonna be a long day. A long day. A lot of money wasted. But really, can you ever be wasting money when you're spending time with loved okay. ones? No. Bring this up, because we're bringing them to the boys. All right. All right. I'm going to carry my puppy. All right, Jesse. These are, no, let her run. These are going to the barn She's for our boys. I know. Honestly, that puppy, even though I love her and she is amazing, oh my goodness, she is dumb. People keep asking me, is she dumb? And I'm like, no, she's not dumb, because she's not dumb, but she is dumb. <laughs> she not aware you know she's kind of just goes through life things happening without her really paying attention all right we'll be back later ladies see you in a while all right so we also got another letter that I forgot in the car it's from little peach press little peach press you're gonna want to remember that and find her on Instagram little peach we'll press. start with the no all right Kaylee's gonna open this one There's, oh she has really nice writing yeah and she's 14? No, I don't, she didn't tell us how old she was. Her name is Lawrence. Lawrence, and she started her own business. She did. And in, in September, September, doing stickers and stationery. Who doesn't need some good stationery? And she sent us something super special. Show us what it is, That's Kaylee. Sweet. This is something that I really like. So it is. Did you know that Kevin Hart's filming in Milton, Ontario? Gabby. Kevin Hart? Who's Kevin Hart? Who is he? Who's Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart is. So it is a holiday tags. Yeah, holiday Christmas tags. And that is exactly what I'm going to need because I'm going to be wrapping a lot of our presents this week. Oh, they're really cute. They are really cute. a whole bunch of stickers on I know. I love them. So these are her holiday tags. They're stickers. And the t holiday tag is where you write like mm -hmm. to somebody and from somebody. And then she also sent us these snail mail stickers and they're super cute. These are some of the stickers that she sent. Well, and this is her business card, Little Peach Press. Thank you so much, Lawrence. And here's my suggestion to you. You should go out there and create some amazing horse Christmas gift tags um, horse or dogs or put some kind of pets on them for all the pet lovers out there because it's really difficult to find horse ones and if I could find horse ones I would buy all of them all right Sophie do you know what kind you want that kind. this kind the so the special thing about this is that it whoa Daddy. is that a push-up bra yeah like it's not that push-up though I feel so it has a, it does up in the front. You're gonna want something more comfortable so you can get used to the feeling. Yeah, like that is so pretty. No. no. That is not my style. It's like a stripper style. That is not the style for you then, Sophie. All right, well, what do you get when we'll try it on? Are you allowed to try it on? Yeah. yeah. Look at, there's a really cute, look at those pink ones behind you, Sophie. It's really cute. See that pink one? Those so cute. These would be so comfortable. I actually saw that. Those ones 
good for riding because, oh, no, man, they have the They have the wire. And you can just ride in sports bras anyway. You can wear that dress. Yeah, like, yeah, you're going to get another sports bra too for riding. So, so that's cute. Mm -hmm. What do you like? I don't know. Well, let's, these would be a lot comfortable. Like, when why don't we try one of each? You want to try both? I think you should try the plane that like pushes it up all the time with the wire stabbing you. You're gonna want something <laughs> to like prepare your body for that. Yeah, because being beautiful means stabbing wires. Mine Beauty did not pain. stab me though. Yeah, so let's yeah, get. You got Libby and Rose. They don't have push up and the wire and the metal. In the no, metal. I had push up. This is Libby and Rose. I'm and, and Libby and Rose. Let's and the up. wire. Let's okay, well let's like, let's pick two and try it. Yeah. Okay, let's try that one. You want the pink or the gray? Um. Look how gray. cute the pink is. I want your other one. You want the gray, the pink. How'd they turn out? Do you love them? Yes, they're so cute. So this is a new thing. You go in the change room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Put them over top of your jeans. <laughs> they're adorable though. They're really cute and they're soft. So soft. Perfect Christmas pajamas. Okay, so this is the winner of the bra. See, and the no wire. I'm one. also getting it in pink. It does have no, wire. Right oh, well, here. It's not like uncomfortable. It's not like a big problem. Yeah, she loves it. So she's gonna get two. She's gonna get that one and a pink one. Ooh. Right, so she got them too, a pink one and a gray one. Too bad you couldn't wear them together. The They're gray so one's cute. my favorite. Gray. She loves the gray the best. I'm gonna be wearing this like Wait, are we going home doing the cake as So I'm Gabby and Kaylee wanna buy her a cake to celebrate her first bra. Yeah. A cake. And I'm gonna change into this. I like that there's like four things so that you could just go and lose this hole or the tie this hole or that hole or that hole. Yeah, it'll fit you for a while, huh? Yeah. For your shorts. 25 bucks? What? Over ten dollars. Over like 25? No, over twenty dollars. Oh, 25? So probably 25. How do you just pay and not know how much they wear? I couldn't hear her. Oh, yeah. She's tainted. Yeah. Wish I had teenage girl That's problems. What I do. Hey, Kaylee, how much were they? 28. 28. See, I guess. Gabby just tried to do the math for I'm me. Like, Gabby, they're 28 dollars. She's like, I'll get them for you. I'm like, Gabby, no. And I'm Aww. Like, so. I know, but when you want nice things. But like how much are these? Pants. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky your mom buys bras. 49 bucks. $80 for bras. Oh, oh. oh no, 49 is 50 $100. 106 I bet you it comes to. See, when you shop a lot, you learn all the prices and what are the tax them to. Yeah, do you want to go eat? You guys are not hungry yet? They opened a new store in our mall called... Charmed Aroma. Charmed Aroma. You guys know what Gabby's been dying to have her whole life. Gabby, tell them what you've been dying to have. A Harry Potter candle. Look at You can see them. A Harry Potter candle. You can see them. So... I want a Gryffindor and Slytherin. So what, we, what did we have to do? Tell them what we just did. We finessed the lady. Okay, so we went to a jewelry store and Lauren's like, I need now. to measure their ring sizes because my their dad is going to come in and buy the rings after, but he needs to know their size. She's like, yeah, of course. So she measured all of her ring sizes. So now we're going to go into Charmed Aroma. So we now know our ring sizes and we can buy the perfect size. Right, we can buy candles. What size were you? I think it was six and a half. Six and a half? Five. Nine. That is a Gabby. Yeah, look at this. Kaylee and I are like, Gabby, here's a ring collection for you. Bath oh, I'm looking at the bath bomb. Look at that one. Rose gold. Yeah. Rose gold. But then we also have this one too, and it's the silver shimmer. And it has silver. Gems. Silver shiver. Silver shiver. Different colored gems. Gabby wants the rose gold. How much are they? Where's the price? Right, so Sophie's taking a bath bomb that has a rose gold ring in it. And this is her I really size. want that one. Yeah, I mean, it might not be any of these. You have to wait and see. Oh, there's I love them. Personally, I like the diamond ones. Gabby is at, Gabby's got it narrowed down. You can't see, so she's getting the mystery one. Do they have other ones that show? No, only the necklace. Oh, okay, so if you buy a necklace, Harry Potter necklace, if you guys don't know, Gabby's obsessed with Harry Potter. So you can buy whatever necklace house you want. She loves Slytherin. No, she's, I'm Gryffindor. She's a Gryffindor girl. Alright, so you want this? Yeah. You pick it. Oh, you gotta pick your size. Kaylee, it says. It says. It says. Oh, it says on the bottom. Gabby almost has a Slytherin heart attack. Yeah, Gabby she almost. She doesn't want Hufflepuff. Oh, these are all Ravenclaw. She got a Hufflepuff. Okay. Look on these ones down here. These are No, six. those are not the Gabby. Ravenclaw. If you get this one, you get the cup after. No. Uh, so you hate Harry Potter. Why don't you get something that you like? Yeah. Dying here. 
It is so hot when you're shopping with a mask. So I want to look for my grandkids because I kind of want to give them a Roots tracksuit for Christmas. They are adorable. Adorable. That would be perfect for Brooklyn. Right, so we are at the iconic Eddie Bauer where Gabby has her iconic vest that she wears all the time. Just be chill, Mom. Just be chill, Mom. And she found a jacket that's like her vest. And it's 50% off. Please fit, please, please, please fit. It's an extra small. Do it up. We'll tie it up and do it up anyway, just to make sure. It's nice because you guys know my kids don't like to wear real coats when they ride. Oh, I like it a lot. Let's see how much it is. It's like the same fit as my vest. Yeah, it's baby. exactly like her vest. It goes down there. Yeah. We scored the deal of the century. We went to Eddie Bauer and they had every coat half off. So you think that's well, a good idea? Just right. No, it's for Christmas. Um, no, we have coat? a plan for the movie because it's always cold in there. We're bringing our coats in for blankets. Uh, I have my bare knees showing. Well, okay, but I need a back for Christmas. Okay, so just wait. What is the iconic black vest that Gabby wears every? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, guess what? They had the exact vest in a coat. In a coat version. In a coat version. Oh, yeah. It'll be it'll be warm. She doesn't ever wear anything really heavy. It'd be perfect for riding. And then as Sophie and Kaylee got um, matching ones, matching matching ones. so Gabby's coat was $330. This, this is the real blanket. <laughs> half off. And then her, theirs was $106. It was $180. And they got it for $106. It came with taxes. $106 is a really good deal for a, yeah, such a good coat deal. for $150. Bucks, so. Listen, we bought a vest. A $350 <laughs> coat for $150. Bucks. That's not a deal. Oh my gosh. Ours okay. It it would be different if she never wore it. If she would never wear that coat, like if that wasn't her thing. But that's her signature look is that jacket. Like the OG look. You need to tell that, me they have those vests there again. I want one. Right. That's what Gabby will wear. Like Gabby will wear that coat always. Okay, so just to clarify, Sam thinks I got a bad deal, but the thing is is that when you see a coat that your kid is gonna wear forever, like Gabby's been wearing that vest for two years. Two years? One year. Gabby's been wearing that vest for a whole year and has never stopped wearing it. Like she wore it even in the summertime. So it's really warm. Yeah. So I think it was a good deal. Like it was meant to be. Like I always talk about God directed it to us, but literally the guy behind the counter is like, wait, is this the last one? Because he wanted he was he was hoping to get one. They were getting rid of those coats that were in that rack after today, after the end of the fifty percent off sale. Yeah, and we snaked it. We snaked it. So the girls will want to wear their pajama pants into the movies. And I'm like, yeah, of course you can. Everybody wears pajamas into the movies and blankets. But yeah, these are their pajama pants. It is isn't the end of November. I'm pretty sure that it will not work out. Okay, so we did all of our shopping and now we're going to relax with a movie. And before we go home, we're here at the like 4.30 show. What time? 3.16. Is the movie start? What time does the movie start? Um, I don't know. What movie are we seeing? Four. We're seeing The War with Grandpa. It's the only family movie that we could all see. All right, so we are the only ones at the movie here. We're the only ones because we're a little no, bit early. Other people are oh, are there more people coming? Mm -hmm. To this one? Uh-huh. So look at how far apart we have to sit. There is free Wi-Fi. There is free Wi-Fi? Why? Ugh. Free Wi-Fi? All right, so there's Gabby and Kaylee down there. There's so much salt on it. Is there? I love salty popcorn. Got, so I got Sophie and I here. We're my number. Favorite gummies eating day you guys a bad eating day it's just been all like not sugar so much well except for now um we always buy like the we always buy the combination thing where you get two meals like two things so we get two popcorn two drinks and then you get a treat and it's supposed to be for both of you to share and so we got lifesaver gummies and gabby and kaylee got skittles oops anyway we're here so we're sitting in this same row us is how far apart you have to sit so hopefully nobody else will be sitting in our aisle we're yeah, there were no other seats, so you have to book the seats ahead of time, and then Sam is going to be sitting back there when he gets here. We're waiting for Sam, like all this time. So Sophie and I go to the bathroom. We thought maybe he went to the bathroom, and we didn't see him anywhere. And I'm like, I oh my gosh. Like maybe he had a heart attack. I said, I hope he didn't have a heart attack in the bathroom, and nobody knows because he's been missing for a really long time. We're the only people in almost in the whole theater, 
and so we start getting worried and they start getting worried and so all of a sudden I phone him and he's like you guys are in the wrong theater and Kathy and Kaylee are like we're in number six and he's like oh <laughs> I'm in the wrong theater <laughs> he's in the wrong theater like you know you're getting old you guys when you can't even find the right theater especially when you're with a group of people and you're sitting there all by yourself and you don't even clue in Hi. yeah <laughs> woo woo and then that thing of one yeah. how come nobody's in the theater yet? Uh -huh. Did you guys go to the bathroom or something? We thought you had a heart attack in the bathroom because we couldn't find... After uh, you call and like, I asked these two people that just showed up. I said, what theater is this? He goes, five. <laughs> <laughs> We are home late and Daisy is refusing to go down to the barn with us. Oh, and then the barn is on. Isn't that so cozy though? Love a barn at night. This is a time when Sam and I work together. Get the horses in. Hi oh, Willow. People are wondering who's the boss now. I think it is Penny, to be honest. Dogs, you have to go. Do you want me to let them in or no? Look, even the kitty's here. You wanna get hay first? Okay. I'm sorry we're late. It's only a little bit late. We're only just a little bit late. There's Gracie. Where's Pen? Where's Penny? Oh, there she is. Oh, I called her name. Did you guys see that? I called her name and she comes. She's such a precious Penny. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You ready? Are we ready? All right, so I'm gonna put you guys away for a minute. All right, we are home, and Sophie's going on her new bra. So this is the new Sophie. Don't anybody look? Does that be rude? Her boobs look like pointy and up. There, no, like up more than they should be. You got the best push-up. Make your straps longer. Yeah. Do you feel good? Does it feel comfortable? Oh my gosh. Do you remember when Sophie was not as tall as you? Oh, okay. She, Kaylee was flinching. Okay, so. Uh, everybody got some candles. They picked them up for Christmas, but we got this ex this Wait, one. I wanted one for not Christmas. I oh, too bad. What about my ring one? I want one of the ring ones. Yes. Harry Potter for Christmas, my other ring Christmas one. Christmas is in four weeks, sister. Now. Four weeks. Go ahead, my, Kaylee. My bath bomb one's not for Christmas. Um, do you the need me to show you how to? Oh, gosh. So then, there you go. So, so Kaylee is lighting up the candle. So this is a necklace one. This is technically my candle. But, oh. Kaylee. Ah! I'm so used to having a mask on in science. Just... <laughs> I think I need a new one. Uh -huh. Just stick it in that that yeah, fire and it'll light up. Fire. All right. Nail off in, oh! in science class. What? Match. Holding it like this. Okay. okay. There we go. All right. So we got a new candle. And oh geez, the uh, wax things burn fast. And we are gonna do Sophie's welcome to womanhood cake. Welcome mm -hmm. to your first bra cake. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys get the. No, they're looking. They're like, can you see the necklace already? It must be high up though, because they put them high up. So mm -hmm. like within the first day, they get the necklace. Okay, get the cake ready. I also forgot to video that the girls are wearing their halter equestrian just ride t-shirts weekend vibes and their brand new shirt. shorts brand new pajama shorts super cute <laughs> all right so gabby and kaylee are doctoring the you're a woman cake what is this okay there you they're go. making now, it i'm in, gonna make my own they're trying to make it into a shrek cake and this is it this is it you guys did gabby put more icing on it too yeah. <laughs> put more icing the icing that's on the cake tastes better than that icing Swamp, Mom. Oh, it's a swamp. Yeah, this is a swamp cake. All right, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the video Three here, more. for the sake that I need to get editing, or else I'll be in bed at midnight again for the third night in a row. Yeah, that was, was such like a fun day. Did you have a fun night? Did you have a fun day? Yeah. Did you have a fun day, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Did you have a fun day, Sophie? Do you feel like a woman? Huh? Do you feel like your boobs are better? First moon cake. We're gonna buy a Barbie, and then it's gonna be blood coming out. <laughs> so he's like, oh god. And there's my candle. Oh, the girls want to dig in it. Can we? Can we please? No. Can we we no, it'll the wreck it. Head. It'll wreck it. Yeah, no. It'll still burn the wicks. No, not please. if the wicks get all wrecked. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.